putting it together. Yesterday I mentioned uh, all the association, uh, all the media, all the conferences, because this is a very new industry and we all have to come together as as one, you know, so to create this great industry of crowdfunding and crowd. Now, we're going to have a couple of the expert panel here, and uh, they're all in other part of the crowdfunding, some, some different businesses, the multiple face of the crowdfunding, and Devin's going to ask them some tough questions, and we're going to videotape it, if you have any question, actually, but they're all expert, um, and I'm grateful one of them is right here, this gentleman, uh, Mr. David Khoram Shai, he is uh, if you and th and that's that's one of the things what I learned and I like to share is that uh, social media it's so important at the most of these companies that they are they're old companies they they have a position in their companies they call social media managers there was no position like that because they gotta they gotta have to Twitter they gotta go to the Google Plus they gotta get to the you know, um, Facebook and other social media is coming. So it's very, very important. And, and it's kind of interesting because it makes uh, the playing field leveled and you can go out there and brand your company. You can go out there, get in touch with your, uh, you know, customers, future customers and your client, your audience. And David is one of the people actually, and I highly recommend to go to his program he's all over the map with the crowdfunding planning and some other crowdfunding mentors he's going to come and talk about a little bit about what did, what did they do and i'm going to sit down and listen because i call him every other week and said david tell me what it is and i see him all over the map this is very interesting and i wanted to share that david please mr david khoram shai first of all i'm honored to be here uh uh, it's a wonderful thing that's happening here. The reason I'm here is um, Sydney invited me and I said, I'm so busy, I would not. Then my son came here and says, David, uh, or dad, you know, you taught me how to do crowdfunding, non-equity based, and I've been accepted in San Francisco University, and the orientation actually is tomorrow. Can we go one day early? And I said, for Sydney and for my son, the answer is I'm going to stop everything. I ask my people to do it and I'm here. I want to start by saying that <clears throat> features and benefits basically would tell. A story would sell. Therefore, I'm going to talk about a lot of stories today. First of all, what do we do? Uh, we are three years old. We started from the point that I went to a bank and I asked for a loan. I have a company that does infrastructure deployment nationwide for Kmart, Walmart, Macy's. And I asked for line of credit. And uh, they said that we are not asset-based lender. We are cash flow lender. And I said, translate that to, to me. What does it, that mean? He says, David, from asset point of view, you're OK. But cash flow, you don't have it. Therefore, we don't lend you. So, OK. Then I said, if I put money in your bank right now, how much do you give me? He says, we give you 0.2, 0 0.4%. I said, fine. He said, how about if I want to come and borrow, if I am qualified? They said, anywhere between 6 to 18% depends what is your credit. I said, I want to be a banker. But guess what? I, I can't. Therefore, I went back and I was thinking of what can be done. And a local university professor, head of the finance department, we are in Southern California, came to us and says he wants to build a crowdfunding portal. I said, what is crowdfunding? That's three years ago. And we noticed early in the game we are going to do three things. Crowdfunding education after learning it. Crowdfunding consulting after doing hard work, taking our jackets off and doing crowdfunding reward base. Again, I'm going to say crowdfunding reward base. And we are going to go ahead and do promotions of all kind. Now, people, they say promotion advertising. What is it? Well, everybody knows about uh, SEO. Everybody knows about social media. A lot of people that are expert in old-fashioned uh, advertising and marketing. But when it comes to crowdfunding, something changes. We've got somewhere about 6.8 billion people in the world that they have some digital device with them. And we are only 7, 7.2 billion in the world in any way. 
Therefore, crowdfunding is promotion and marketing in a speed of light. Because when you do your crowdfunding reward base again, you got two months or up to two months. In business of marketing, that is nothing. You go to a marketing firm in New York and say, I want to do this thing. They say it takes six months and they give you the bill. Crowdfunding reward rule one, your client don't have much money. Therefore, we had to learn how to do things faster, better, cheaper. And then for whom? We have crowdfunding real estate company, the portal, they come to us to promote them. Therefore, we work with crowdfunding portal owners. On a daily basis, we get between 60 to 100 requests from crowdfunding business or project owner. How do we get them? Very simply, you type crowdfunding mentors, first page, first position worldwide. Same thing for crowdfunding planning, crowdfunding coaches, crowdfunding seminars, crowdfunding on and on and on. And how did we do that? It's very simple. My nickname on the web is Google Later. I work with Google, I live Google, I use their fabric. Google Fabric is fabric of success and just leveraging with a 900,000 pound gorilla. That's what we do. Therefore, any of our websites, only 500 of them, at the very bottom of it says powered by Google and I have no IT people in my office knowing that my background is IT. Therefore, we know how to leverage. Then we asked three to four questions from people they call us that they are crowdfunding project owner. Question number one, how much? 10, 100, half a mil or more. Two, how much time do you have? Did you already jump in the crowdfunding or you have so many weeks or months left? The third question is kind of like a scary question. How many people do you know that you exist? Some people, they call this thing social capital with a dollar sign as a S. Very important question. Crowdfunding, when you say you want to raise half a million dollars or a million dollars, there's no more question left regarding the funding. Everything is about the crowd. I would ask the audience a question. I would not ask you where your background is, but I'm going to ask you actually two questions. When it comes to your business, what is your web strategy? Some of you guys probably they can teach me a lot about web strategy. SEO, because if you're on the first page, guess what? People define you. But the second question is the one that really, really has challenged me. What is your social media strategy? What is your social media strategy? Because social media or your social capital is a make or break in crowdfunding. I invite you to go to Google and type Google Trends, T-R-E-N-D-S. It's a special search. The result of it is basically a graph that shows how many searches, how many news, how much interest has been in the subject. Okay, so the point would be if you put common cold, you see a graph that says when, and by the way, you can click on a state or country or whatever, when Americans, they catch cold more often during the last so many years, 2005 to 2010. Some crazy people like me, they go to the companies that they have over-the-counter remedies and optimize them for six months before, that six months after they're on the first page of Google, they're going to sell more. But I invite you to go to the same search type four item. Number one, crowdfunding, comma, crowdfunding, Kickstarter, crowdfunding, Indiegogo, Rocket Hub, or anything you want to type, like your website. You will see that crowdfunding, when you put crowdfunding versus Kickstarter, Kickstarter graph from 2005 is here. But crowdfunding is right down here. Kleenex versus tissues. Brand versus the product. I will invite you to take a look at where Indiegogo, Indiegogo and others they are. Right, right down there, nobody sees them. And why that is important. Got 
I get a lot of calls from different age regarding crowdfunding. What is crowdfunding? What is crowdfunding? What is crowdfunding? Three years ago, I made the video with the team that I have. It's a uh, so-called uh, whiteboard video that today, if you type on YouTube, what is crowdfunding is position one, video number one at 109,000. I'm proud of it because it's very difficult to get there. But later on, I realized that crowdfunding actually is simply Maybe Gary Scott Cookie is a good example of it. They come to you, they showed you the perk, you write them a check, and they pre, you pre-order and they deliver in future. A lot of emotion is involved, the crowd is involved. Crowdfunding is the exposition, it is a convention center that they allow you to go there, put your booth, put your product, invite people to come and see you, and if you bring 30, 40% of what you think we want to raise, then maybe, you get the rest of the 60, 70, 80%. Once they realize what this thing is, doesn't matter you're doing crowdfunding equity base or a reward base. You have to bring the crowd. If you're a portal, then you have two sets of problems. Not only you got to promote to say, I exist, but also you got to promote to come and put your boot or your campaign inside and trust me because I'm going to be popular and I'm going to raise the money. The beauty of it is, I am blessed. I have ran to a business that every day I get something so fantastic with so much energy. They call, they want to raise money in biotech. They call, they want to raise money in, actually I'm going to list off what, what we are doing. We are doing uh, a crowdfunding for female crowdfunding uh, portal. We are doing one for uh, uh, what is called crowdfunding for causes. We are working with Hollywood on two movies. We are working with a manufacturer that has made the chair that basically cure your backache, and on and on and on and on. Therefore, I go there and I get this fantastic entrepreneur, the risk taker, coming to us with the energy. And I would tell you today, these are the people, this, the, this entrepreneur and the people that they make investment in this entrepreneur. They will graduate to come and do crowdfunding equity base. If you don't learn how crowdfunding reward, you do not take a chance on crowdfunding equity base. A couple of things about equity. To me, it's not new. I think if you go to 1700, 1800, there's no bank in the United States. Therefore, the question is, how did we build the infrastructure? We crowdfunded it. Second question, and I'm going to go to David. How many IPO did we have last year? Thank you. Let's translate what happened here. Initial public offering. I'm an entrepreneur, I have a great idea, I want to go walk there and I want to raise money for my business. This is America, right? 17? Am I right to say the last IPO that I remember Twitter, they were all institutional? Translation, you didn't invest in it. You didn't invest in it. Therefore, how about the rest of us? Entrepreneurship is like a water, it's like a river. It finds its way. Oculus or others are not really the first. I've been watching one called Star Citizen. Half a million dollar raised, i say, they went after half a million dollar in Kickstarter. They got two million, the campaign was closed, and they wrote something very simple. If you are in this campaign, you cannot make an investment, click here. Go to Google, type, Star Citizen, 37 million. That's where they are. Crowdfunding doesn't stop and start with the, with the project or with your campaign. It goes beyond. I'm going to stop here. I am extremely passionate regarding crowdfunding. Maybe because as an entrepreneur, I've been monetizing it. I've hired people and I'm hiring more people. I invite you to go to crowdfundingmentors.com, promote my crowdfunding, crowdfunding planning, uh, crowdfunding seminars, 
crowdfunding help us, and on and on and on, and see what we have done. And if you want us to promote you, I'm at your service. What we do with social media is absolutely amazing. Any question? Maybe I can ask you some questions. Sure. So, uh, as you talk about crowdfunding and your master of social uh, networks, what, what are some key things about social networking? How do people build an audience and which platforms are most important? There, there are two groups of people you have to work with. What I call it a crowd. And the other one, I really call it the super flag waivers. And who is the crowd and who is the super flag waivers? Supposedly, we work on a, a, a vertical, a sports, or anything that you ever know. And say, I'm going to give you a real example. We're working with the entrepreneur. He has a, a so-called bracelet, not a bracelet, a, 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 a cufflink that you wear. And it's basically as you go do surfing or you go do uh, scuba diving, it repels sharks. The website called, of course. Uh, shark, uh, sharkstopper.com. This gentleman, in order to raise the crowd, he has to go find the most famous surfer. He has to find the most famous surfer that wears the camera that is, they put up here because they buy electronic. He has to go find people that they have something to do with reservation of vacation that has to do with surfing or has to do with this, and then dive inside their social media and invite those folks to his social media channels. Relevant crowd. Not every crowd, relevant crowd. I'm proud to say that we are the manager owner of the largest crowdfunding social media channel with Google+. Our crowdfunding Twitter and Facebooks at 350,000 is the largest one. Therefore, when you come to us, we are going to tell everybody every 25 minutes what you do. But those are not relevant crowd. But when you spend time with us, we build your relevant crowd inside your own social media. Of course, you have to moderate it. You have to talk to them. You have to keep them interested. That's one group. The other group are the flag wavers, the key people. We do a, a specific Google search, and we find all the journalists, all the people they do blogs, because journalists, they get paid by the company bloggers. They get paid by you. We find who are the most important bloggers and journalists of your specific vertical. Then we go say hello. Then we invite them to invite you to go talk. Because each of them, they know thousands of people. We have members here. They do uh, publicity in Forbes. They're experts. We have members that they do publicity in, in Many other important, depends what your vertical is. A combination of this has to get to a level that you feel if tomorrow you go to crowdfunding reward base, you can raise 30%. And why 30%? If you go invest in Shark Stopper, for example, and you go to their booth and there is nobody around, you walk out. But if you go see this activity going on, two things happen. Maybe you say, I'd like to invest. Two, Indiegogo and Kickstarter and others, these are financial companies, they look at it and say, oh, I'd like to take a chance on this guy. How about we put them on the first page of their category? When you get to the first page of category, you get more eyeballs. You get to 50%. Then they do something they have never done before. So far, everything is inbounding. I'm inviting, you are inviting, they are bringing up eyeballs. But the minute you hit the 50%, they go outbound on you. 
How many of you guys have received email from Kickstarter says Kickstarter HQ? Kickstarter uh, staff picks or Indiegogo project of the month because they got your vertical email addresses. They would not tell you this, but they do this for you. Why? They want between six to nine percent of your money. They got to promote you, but you, they got to see crowd loves you. If crowd loves you, they love you back. Well, fantastic. Thank you very, very much for your time. <laughs>